Bruce Protocol, Wikipedia article audio. The Bruce Protocol is a diagnostic test used in the evaluation of cardiac function, developed by Robert A. Bruce. Before the development of the Bruce Protocol there was no safe, standardized protocol that could be used to monitor cardiac function in exercising patients. Masters two-step test was sometimes used, but it was too strenuous for many patients, and inadequate for the assessment of respiratory and circulatory function during varying amounts of exercise. Most physicians relied upon patients' complaints about exertion, and examined them only at rest. History Modifications To address these problems, Bruce and his colleagues began to develop a treadmill exercise test. The test made extensive use of relatively new technological developments in electrocardiographs and motorized treadmills. A Bruce exercise test involved walking on a treadmill while the heart was monitored by an electrocardiograph with various electrodes attached to the body. Ventilation volumes and respiratory gas exchanges were also monitored, before, during and after exercise. Because the treadmill speed and inclination could be adjusted, this physical activity was tolerated by most patients. Initial experiments involved a single-stage test, in which subjects walked for 10 minutes on the treadmill at a fixed workload. Bruce's first reports on treadmill exercise tests, published in 1949, analyzed minute-by-minute -minute changes in respiratory and circulatory function of normal adults and patients with heart or lung ailments. In 1950 Bruce joined the University of Washington, where he continued research on the single-stage test, particularly as a predictor of the success of surgery for valvular or congenital heart disease. Later he developed the multi-stage test, consisting of several stages of progressively greater workloads. It was this multi-stage test, a description of which was first published in 1963, that became known as the Bruce Protocol. In the initial paper, Bruce reported that the test could detect signs of such conditions as angina pectoris, a previous heart attack, or a ventricular aneurysm. Bruce and colleagues also demonstrated that exercise testing was useful in screening apparently healthy people for early signs of coronary artery disease. Typically during a Bruce protocol, heart rate and rating of perceived exertion are taken every minute and blood pressure is taken at the end of each stage. There are Bruce protocol tables available for maximal and sub-maximal efforts. Total duration equals 21 minutes. Results The modified Bruce protocol starts at a lower workload than the standard test and is typically used for elderly or sedentary patients. The first two stages of the modified Bruce test are performed at a 1.7 miles per hour and 0% grade and 1.7 miles per hour and 5% grade and the third stage corresponds to the first stage of the standard Bruce test protocol as listed above. The test score is the time taken on the test, in minutes. This can also be converted to an estimated VO2MAX score using the calculator below and the following formulas, where the value T is the total time completed. As with many exercise test equations, there have been many regression equations developed that may give varying results. If possible, use the one derived from a similar population and which best suits your needs. Underlying Heart Rate Formulas REF, ACSM's Health-Related Physical Fitness Assessment Manual Maximum heart rate is often calculated with the formula 220H which is quite inaccurate. The heart rate formula most often used for the Bruce is the Carvanen formula. A more accurate formula, 
offered in a study published in the journal, Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise, is 206.9, which can also be used to more accurately determine VO2 max, but may produce significantly different results. Carvanen Method a diagnostician may be best served to conduct the test twice using both parameters and formulas. The Carvanen method factors in resting heart rate to calculate target heart rate, using a range of 50-85%. Example for someone with a HR max of 180 and a HR rest of 70, 50% intensity times 0.50 plus 70 equals 125 bpm, 85% intensity, times 0.85 plus 70 equals 163 bpm. VO2 max equals 14.76, plus, women, VO2 max equals 2.94 xt plus 3.74, women, VO2 max equals 4.38 times T, 3.9, men, VO2 max equals 2.94 xT plus 7.65, young men, VO2 max equals 3.62 xT plus 3.91.